Hey, it's Joe with Personas. It's been a minute since we've had some fun with Splitter, and since Splitter is one of my, if not my favorite plugin in Studio One, let's do that today, specifically with delay. So here is a lead vocal. It's got some doubled vocals in there as well. And right now, it has a slapback delay. So let me clean this up real quick so we can just see only the vocal. By the way, if you didn't, in case you didn't know, if you open up this little window here, shows you a list of all your tracks, and then if you just click and drag on the little circles next to them, it'll get rid of them. So I want to get rid of all of those. Okay, so now we're just seeing basically vocal tracks and our effects tracks over here on the right. So here's a couple of vocals here on this chorus. Can not let go. Nobody can give me what I'm hoping not to find. So there is a slapback delay on that. If we solo the slapback, this is what it sounds like. Oh yeah, and there's those other background vocals too. Um, but what if we decided we want to do something kind of funky with the delays and use Splitter to kind of make things interesting? Well, let's just let's just find out. Um, so what I'm going to do is find Splitter over here in alphabetical order. I, my brain goes numb when I do these videos. I can't figure out alphabetical order. So we'll put Splitter up here at the top of this section. Okay, so in case you didn't know, Splitter is a way... <clears throat> excuse me, of taking a signal and splitting it a couple of different ways. So if we click on splitter, normal split is just like a parallel split, meaning the same thing is going through both. That's neat. Channel split means left here, right here. Super useful for like mid-side processing. And then frequency split basically turns this into like a multi-band processor of sorts where uh, I'm sending the left side is getting everything below this frequency that I've set and the right side is getting the high stuff. So what if, what if we did something like this and we put the slapback delay on just the low frequencies. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this EQ for now just for the sake of simplicity. Um, just with that, so right now the, the splitter is splitting everything. Here's what the the low side sounds like. Can not let go. Oh, hang on. That's just, sorry. That was with, um, I did that completely wrong. This is, okay, <laughs> start over. This is the splitter for this si delay um, effect chain. Uh, I just knocked my glasses off my face. Is splitting the signal so that everything below 1K goes through the analog slapback delay and then everything else over here doesn't go through anything currently. Um, and let's see what that sounds like now. Can not let go. Nobody can give me what I'm hoping not to find. So it instantly makes that slapback be more muffled, right? Because if we listen to it by itself, this is all that's getting the delay. Can not let go. Nobody can give me what I'm hoping not to find. All I have before is find the Now, let's say we wanted the higher frequencies to have a different delay on them altogether. So maybe like a one and two and three and four, like an eighth note. Eighth note delay. So let's grab another copy of, let's do beat delay. I'm going to put beat delay on the right hand side. Okay. Remember the right hand side is everything above like one to two K. And let's set it to uh, just regular eighth notes. Let's give it a good amount of feedback. Let's give it a ton of width. Let's make it ping pong and a little bit of cross delay too, which just gives it a very like, uh, gives it a very wide sound. Um, mix knob will go all the way up because this is a, this is on a send, so we want it to be all the way up. We'll lock that at 100. And I'm gonna not mess with the high and low cut here because I kind of want everything to come through. But let's just see, just out of, I have no idea. Let's just see what that sounds like. Can give me what I'm hoping not to find. All I have before is found the time to leave behind, and I can not let go. Super interesting. So that we can't hear it as well. It's not very loud. So what we could do is there's a couple ways we could approach that. Probably the easiest would be just to go to the splitter and say this right side needs to come up some. We got a little volume knob here. Let's go six decibels up. And let's see what that sounds like. Can not let go. Nobody can give me what I'm hoping not to find. All I 
I had before is found the time to leave. You can ask too much, but that's super interesting. So just let, let, let's let's review what's happening, because I know I probably did that fast for some folks. The the main vocal, if we turn the send off and just listen to the main vocal track. Can not let go. Nothing is changing there. That sound remains untouched by anything that we're doing here. But when we turn on the delay, we're adding this to the sound. And so right now, the this delay channel has two sides to it. One side is just the slap back on the lower frequencies. I need to hang on. I need to go delete those others. Um, actually, let me just uh, let me just turn down the other effects because they don't need to be in on this on this fun. Um, there we go. So here's what that uh, the left side with just the analog delay sounds like. Okay, so that's interesting. It's kind of muffled and kind of cool already. And then here's what the right side sounds like. It's not right panned right. I literally just mean the right side of this uh, splitter. But this is the beat delay that's applying to only everything above 1.7K. And that sounds like this. Now, could we just say, why not just put an analog, the slapback delay on one and the eighth note delay on another? You certainly can, but this is just an interesting way of like changing things up to where I really just want a faster delay on the high frequencies and then something else on the middle frequencies. You can do that with splitter. So I, you know, there are people who are going to be way more creative than, with this than I am, but hopefully this maybe opened up your eyes to, oh, interesting. Like maybe you make a whole channel strip. Um, for a guitar part that has delays on the high frequencies and reverb on the low frequencies or vice versa, you can do that. So start to think about your favorite effects and then start thinking what would happen if I put those effects on just certain ranges of frequencies, what kind of cool sounds could I create? So is this like something I would use in the final mix of this song? I don't know, but it's kind of neat. So that might be a thing where I only bring up the delay on fine. Nobody can give me what I'm hoping not to find, 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 all that. Something like that, where maybe I automate the beat delay to be off except on that one phrase or something like that. Like, let's just let's just kind of redneck automate that for a second. Uh, I'm going to turn this up a little more just so we hear it. But what if it was like this? Something like that, like it comes in like that. So you could have this as its own thing. That's a whole separate thing. But anyway, this to me is just endlessly creative. If you like to tweak, if you kind of have a little bit of a hacker mentality or like you love setting up pedal boards, like external pedal boards and running pedals into different things, the splitter tool allows you to do all of that within a single channel. So you'll notice we didn't have to do any routing at all. I didn't have to go add another send on my vocal. I didn't have to... Um, set up another channel. It's all happening just kind of within the confines of whatever channel we put the splitter plug in on. And in case you didn't know, you can have more than one. So you can split your splits and start making like family tree action happening here, which is just bonkers. Like it, you can get crazy with it, but from a creativity and sound design standpoint, uh, the splitter tool is super interesting. So give yourself, go pick an evening this week to go kind of mess around with a mix you've already done, um, some effects you maybe already use, and find kind of new ways to bring those to life. You may discover some cool sounds that you never thought were possible, and you didn't have to buy a new plugin to do it. You just used splitter with your existing plugin list, and it's like it. Re it's like a whole new. It's kind of like when you have one, one microphone or a couple of microphones, and then you get a, a new a preamp or a new effect, and it brings all of the existing gear that you have to life, or you have a new amp and your all your guitars sound completely different. That's what this can do with your existing plugin. So go play with it, have some fun, leave a comment here, let us know how it goes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.